Nice. All right, so before this video gets started, guys, I do want to mention that we just got a brand new hoodie on the website with a brand new design. These suckers are super fire, super comfortable. They're very soft, and also they are very limited. So if you guys want to cop you one and help support your boys, be sure to visit gunsquad.com. But as of right now, let's get to the video. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Gun Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we started installing some of our brand new windows up front here. And so far they are turning out absolutely amazing. So huge shout out to Sun Windows for making some beautiful windows. And that's exactly where we're gonna continue today. We're gonna try to install as much windows as possible. Although we don't have the best weather, it is raining a little bit. I think we could still work around it. So we're super excited to keep on moving with these windows. But actually the other day we did get set up with Kubota of Chattanooga, Stanley and Paladin, the same company that makes the ground shark attack for our skid steer and they actually set us up with something super epic here's a little clip of that And here it is, boys. Check that sucker out, man. We put it to work the other day, didn't we? Dude, a little bit. I wish I could just keep on working, but it is kind of rainy today and everything is pretty wet. But dude, this thing is an absolute beast, oh, man. Oh my goodness. We thought that sucker right there was a beast, but this right here just absolutely demolishes hey, that stuff. That thing is still a beast right there, but this is just a whole different level right dude, here, man. This, this right here will take out a stump, no problem. Look at those teeth. Oh my goodness, dude. You know dude. how long it took us to try to take down that one stump? This thing right here just eats it through like butter dude. probably cuts it in about half the time dude. definitely so this right here is definitely gonna help us out with clearing that bottom section of the hill and probably around the property too we're gonna be clearing some stuff with this dude. and we didn't mention this just yet this is not our machine we're actually just demoing this sucker for probably what like a couple weeks maybe or something like weeks, that I, I hope we can just demo this thing for as long as possible you know dude. I mean? a couple months would be awesome that way we can just keep on clearing this land but we're gonna put this thing to work and just see what it does out here. I wish we can do it today, but you know what? We might. We, hey, we might hit some stuff up top, dude. Dude, we could we can put it to a test a little bit more, but right now we're probably just gonna go ahead and what jump back inside the house, start cutting out some uh, windows, dude. Yep, we got so much windows. We got so much exciting stuff to do, but these windows are gonna be super epic. So I oh, guess yeah. we just continue with them. Let's do it. All right, guys, so check this out. So this is exactly where we're starting off out back here because we're actually gonna try to install our kitchen window. So uh, we went ahead and actually just ripped off all the siding. We did notice that there was a lot of water going down all this plywood because our gutter up there that we cut open to install this deck is actually just leaking down the side. So we're probably gonna have to get an elbow that way it just like shoots it out the other way for right now, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, because as we're working, it is kind of dripping on your forehead, it becomes a little bit annoying at times. <laughs> and we don't want it dripping on all that wood like constantly. So we're just gonna just reroute it that way a little bit later on because we may have to run down and grab a few supplies. But as of right now, we went ahead. This window is super easy to remove because you know what? It's not like a remodel window. It's nailed on from the outside. Yeah. We just had to just pry that sucker off. But the main purpose of us removing that window 
windows because we're installing a much larger window, right? Way bigger window and uh, I believe way taller too. So it's just gonna look really good. And as you guys know, in the kitchen area right now, even though it's uh, daylight out here, you barely can see it's dark in there. So this hopefully opens everything up. It's gonna look so good. Dude, and dude. there's not gonna be no grits within the window. It's just gonna be clear, just like the rest of the windows, of course. And it's they're not. gonna be, it's a double casement. So they're both gonna, I think they're both open up like that, dude. It's dude, gonna look so good. Look but, super good. Man. I mean, should be pretty simple. For the most part, all we're gonna have to do is just cut out a larger uh, diameter for that window and then uh, install some new pieces of two by eights and stuff like that and hopefully slap that sucker in. Now that's a window right there, dude. dude. This is what this kitchen really needed. Look how much better it looks, dude. One massive window with two windows put together with one massive window. This is a double casement. I think that's what you call it. And they're both gonna open up sideways. Go ahead and open that sucker up. Dude, this is sick. Look dude. at that. You burn some cookies and you open up that front door and this window right here, dude. The breeze is just going out, dude. That is perfect. And now it's letting a lot more light in compared to that little tiny window. Look how tiny that thing was, man. Come on, man. <laughs> that was just embarrassing. But now, dude, now whenever we do our kitchen, we're going to be able to put our sink directly in the middle just to make everything flow a lot properly. Dude, it's going to look really good in here. And you get a beautiful view of the backyard as well. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, yeah, man. You get a, if you're in the backyard, you look through this window, you can see the front yard. Or if you're in the kitchen and you, I mean, you see the beautiful wall that we built back dude, here, too. You walk up to the front door, you can see the backyard, dude. That's just that awesome, cool. man. I was wondering, what, what if we added some windows right here? But you see how we do got a double wall? It's kind of weird. I mean, you could do it but you'd have to make the make a square out of it and it'll just the window will just be deep inside there which i mean wouldn't look bad but we're gonna have cabinets along this whole entire wall and on that side is the dining room so might as well just not even do it. this is perfect yeah plus we got a bunch of can lights in here that are gonna be leds they're gonna oh, light yeah. this whole entire place up but we did end up running to the store grabbing like some two by sixes some plywood and some two by fours because we had to do a new frame around here to frame it out to the perfect spec now we're gonna actually move up to the top windows or yep. something we're gonna move up to that window over there try to get that knocked out but i gotta say this was a lot easier than the remodel windows way easier all we had to do is basically just uh, screw it in from the outside didn't have to do much cutting or anything like that of course we applied our flashing and all that good stuff later on we'll do our what is it called the weather wrap yeah the weather wrap we just uh, we'll wait until we completely take all this off so we'll probably end up taking that off of right after this right that exactly. way we can get to that window yep because there's no need for that siding and we're gonna have to get rid of it just to get get that window out yeah so, so let's just go ahead and move on to that window
And there you have it, another window down. I gotta say, we're getting pretty good at this, oh, dude. Oh yeah, dude, we're getting good on the ones that are in the back. And uh, I mean, all we got left on the back side is just this one bar window. Oh, we do have to uh, actually change these little windows out as well, right? But we haven't received those just yet. They're supposed to go all the way down like that. So those are gonna be real neat, but oh yeah, we'll probably save that for some other time. But that window right there is actually a little bit more narrower. Usually we're going bigger with windows, but that one is just like, there's no need for a huge window in that little yeah, bedroom there definitely. Anyways. That one window that was there was way too wide and uh, this one actually is perfect fit we just had to frame it out just a little bit so that one's in there for good now it's time to move on to this other double casement that we got for this bar area thing right here so we're gonna have to do some framing as well but before we do that we got to cut this window out exactly we're gonna cut that window out and instead of actually removing all the siding like we were planning on doing we're just kind of cutting around it that way if it does rain it doesn't and we have to rip everything off we don't want that plywood getting wet you know what yeah, i mean definitely so we're just gonna go ahead cut around it and then once we actually are ready to do hardy we're gonna go ahead and just rip everything off right yes sir let's go ahead and get this bar area looking good it's gonna be it's gonna be massive back oh, here yeah, too I mean, dude. it's gonna make more light come in as well dude heck yeah let's get it done let's do it This thing is legit right here in the bar area, man. Check this out. Double casement. Watch how this sucker Open up that up. other one too, dude. Imagine having a nice little piece of granite right there. Dude, that'd be perfect. So, I mean, right here, that's fully open right here. You can have like a piece of granite coming out from the bottom, probably like a foot, and just have two stools outside. And dude, man, this is legit. Dude, just straight up serve, man. Dude, serve. What would you like? What would you like? Mountain Dew with some cr cream pop in it? Super tall Mountain Dew with a little bit of sweet tea mixed in the top I with a little cherry up, on the bottom right up, man. we were out of cherries man <laughs> dude that is so cool dude this was probably by far the most difficult one or i wouldn't say difficult to install the most technical yeah most technical because the way this wall was built with these uh these studs right here so the studs were actually kind of weirdly placed i mean they're placed exactly perfect but the way we wanted the window to be perfectly in the middle so we worked around it and we put a brand new uh, support up top a brand new support up bottom and got this sucker in dude, perfect got it in the right it's gonna pass codes and all that the good stuff. The only thing that we did, we ran out of flashing, which uh, we didn't fully secure this window 100%. We just put it on a few screws. That way tomorrow or sometime, uh, we can get some flashing and just place it on there. Exactly, but dude, I'm loving that massive window. Dude, it open up, opens up the view from the front to the back. I know, man. But wait till we get that front window, dude, man. Just like we did it downstairs in the kitchen with a big window and the front door. Now we're gonna do the big window over here and the big window out back. And dude. on top of that, we're actually gonna add a window probably right behind you, right? Yeah, we're gonna add a window somewhere around here and replace that window right there. And dude, after these two windows, I believe that big one is gonna be our last major like project right dude, there. But I think we got it down from here on out because we figured it out. Pops was a huge help for us oh, as yeah. well. Man, we were knocking stuff out. Next thing that we need to do is probably add some skylights. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that'd, that'd be, be pretty cool. I wonder how you do that. How would you go about adding like something like that? I don't even know if that's legal, man. I don't know. We'd have to talk to our contractor about that. <laughs> exactly, but we kind of ran out of time. It's already getting a little dark on us, so we're probably just going to do some, maybe do some bush hogging tomorrow a little bit. Test yeah, definitely. Out. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow in the morning.
Alrighty guys, so it is the next day here and it did rain a little bit last night, so the ground is really wet, but it's kind of stopping right now. So what we're planning on doing is actually putting this thing to the test a little bit more, right? Dude, let's slap that sucker on, dude. I just want to see what it can do a little bit more. I mean, we done seen what it can do to a stump, but there's like a brush pile that we got over there. Dude, I'd like to just run through it, see what it does. You know what I mean? Dude, we got to see what this thing can handle, man. Especially in the rain, man. We got to put it through its paces so the, the ground's a little bit muddy, but you know what? I think this thing will do some eating, you know what I dude, mean? Dude, I am excited to see what it can do. So I guess where you say slap it back on there, we had to use the bucket, the other day to change yeah. some of them windows so yeah. we have to take it off but so we're gonna actually go ahead and slap it back on here and connect all these connections it does have an electrical connection as well which is really awesome i didn't even know our skid steer uh had that uh, option on it but it actually does so you just plug that in just so this little lift gate it can open so i say we go ahead fire that sucker up connect it and see what it can do thing is incredibly crazy dude <laughs> it is dude look at what it did to that pile right there man it mulched it all up and we tried actually mulching a log up and we actually did a very hard piece of wood uh it's like white oak i right? think it's an oak yes yeah. so yeah. the oak is really difficult to cut it doesn't matter what type of even our chainsaw got um uh, yeah got clogged up a couple times so oak is probably the most uh, strongest wood out here and we gave it a shot it took it down around like two three passes but you gotta make sure you don't stand behind this thing, dude. Yep, you can't stand in front of it or behind it. And also you gotta make sure that you keep this sucker low. That way, you know, if, if a branch does launch, it doesn't go like anywhere through the screen. Yeah, you can't, you can't keep it over cab height. So we're keeping it real low. That way nothing really happens. And another thing is they won't even sell this machine. I don't think you, they'll even sell this piece right here without actually getting a bulletproof glass. Yeah, right? you cannot, they won't sell it to nobody. If you're buying that, you gotta buy this glass right here. So. Thank God we got this glass because, uh, I mean, if anything, like a tree falls or something like that or something just like a piece of log just like explodes because this thing will cut and if the wood is hollow, it'll explode. Like, <laughs> it really would. Like, if it's hollow, it'll just chunk it up and explode, sending wood everywhere. But, dude, this thing, this thing does some work. Dude, this thing is a beast, man. I can't believe they didn't give it like a crazy name, like a alligator uh, alligator shark or something like that <laughs> alligator shark but dude did you see how far it launched that one log dude it launched it all the way back there when i turned around it was still sliding i was like dude that is insane but right now we're actually gonna probably try to get like a dead log not a dead log uh, soft uh, some soft wood because we're messing with some hardwood and now now it's time to see what it'll do on some soft wood and we may even try some bushes what do you think yeah i want to try some bushes like well. right there dude we can like go through some bushes see what it does but let me see, look at this stuff that it made right here oh my my goodness hey, that's i'll bring mulch. it on over here to you that's some big mulch right there look at that dude that's perfect now we don't really have to worry about like cutting it up and stuff like that we'll just like do all this to all the logs and brush and just leave it on the ground man exactly so and that's actually going to help with uh reproducing and dude, growth of other yeah, trees it's honestly. gonna make our soil a lot better out here dude so i guess we're gonna go ahead and actually uh prepare another log and see what it can do let's do it
Dude, what happened to that pile, dude? dude what happened to thing, the log? Dude, that thing turned everything into mulch, dude. It disintegrated that whole entire pile, man. Oh my goodness. It was launching stuff about like 200 feet or I something know, like I, that. I opened that flap up. The higher you open this flap up, the more it launches. And I just wanted to launch it like on the side of that hill just to go ahead and just throw mulch as far as possible, dude. Pretty much where we uh, sowed that seed, I think it'll actually help it. To oh be yeah, definitely. I mean, we don't even have to buy mulch. Look at that. And it helps us with the mud problem up here. You know what? Oh, we can yeah. now walk without mud just sticking to our feet, Yo, dude. Didn't even think about that. But as for mulch, we don't have to buy mulch. All we got to do is dye this stuff, like, because we want black mulch. Yeah, we? we can do black mulch. <laughs> I don't know what, how you dye it. You dye it with some kind of black dye. But anyways, dude, this thing, I just can't get enough of it, man. Oh, I my just goodness. Working. <laughs> dude, might as well. I mean, we took out that big old log pile. Like, we don't have to burn anymore as yeah, well, dude. That's what I said. Less burning is better. You know what I mean? So it's better to have mulch on the ground. And I can't wait to actually start going through like actual bushes with this. Yeah, thing, definitely got to take out a lot more there. And at the bottom over there, and dude. at the bottom, and this tree right here, this dead tree, dude. Dude, that's gonna be something. We're gonna have to let it dry out because I want to get that tree from that side, and let it fall this way. Yeah. Exactly. But that's pretty much gonna be it so far. We're super happy with that machine right there, that attachment. Dude, this is an absolute beast. Alrighty, guys. So that is pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video. We're super excited to be testing out that brand new mulcher there. I can't wait to put it to work some more and clear out a big old piece of land probably at the bottom there take out some trees and a bunch of other awesome stuff and also we're super excited to be moving along with these windows i can't wait to get that one massive one in that'll probably be in the next video so make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and also if you want an inside scoop before youtube definitely give us a follow on instagram at goon squad and don't forget we got some brand new hoodies on the website with a brand new design these are super fire super comfortable super soft and very limited so if you guys want to copy one and help support your boys be sure to visit goon squad.com but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace